Hi, my name's Andrew and I'm a firefighter with Toronto Fire Services. Do you know what a home escape plan is? It's a plan that keeps you and your family safe. A home escape plan is important to practice so you know exactly how to get out of your home quickly in case there is a fire. Here, let me show you how to make an escape plan. Follow me! To make a home escape plan, use a piece of paper and draw a map of your home that shows all of the windows and doors. Every room needs at least two ways out wherever possible. If you live in a tall apartment or condo building, make sure you know where the stairwells are. Like these stairwells over here. These stairs are exits and will take you downstairs and outside. Never use an elevator. Always use the stairs. A home escape plan also includes having an outside meeting place. Do you know where your meeting place is? It should be at the front of your home and everyone in your household should know where to meet in case of an emergency. Remember, you have to practice your home escape plan with everyone in your household at least twice a year. It's also important to let visitors know what your home escape plan is. You can post your plan in a visible place, like on the fridge. You should also know the home escape plan if you are visiting a friend or family member's house. To practice your home escape plan, an adult can push the test button on a smoke alarm to hear the drill. When you hear the alarm, you can practice what to do in case there is a fire or smoke inside. This includes getting low and going outside to your meeting place as quickly and safely as possible. We get low under smoke because smoke always rises up, so you need to get low where the air is clean. Once you're outside, stay outside. Call 911 and wait for firefighters to arrive. Remember, get out and stay out. Never go back inside for people, pets, or things. Practice your home escape drill at least twice a year with everyone in your home. Thank you and stay safe.